good day to you today we come to you with the word of the lord and i hope you will uh, hang through work through uh, this word i feel it is really critical for our times today i saw a post and the lord jesus christ is with his hand on the post it was almost his height and his hand on the post so i said what is this what is this timber where who did, who made a timber post in scripture you think like that then the lord said this is a sign post i have trained a man from the mother's womb to be my sign post to be my signal to his time uh, to his people to his nation to his provision to his work field to his oikos his near dear ones he is a sign post and the lord trains him through thick and thin through uh, back breaking will breaking uh, things till he has pleasure only in the will of god and he has pleasure only in the word of god and he has pleasure only to uh, speak for god speak the things of god that is a sign post so to these are days god is assigning sign posts and those sign posts who got weary in well doing hands fell down the lord is saying rise rise i am working with the sign posts and you look and say there's nobody inside of course there's nobody inside because you are the sign post for your generation for your relatives for your field Uh, and you will not easily see another sign post because sign posts are few and far between and sign posts are not trying to shine for themselves they are only there for god to hang a sign god's time kairos and god's word for that season rema speaking from the hebrew god's maud time and god's daba word the illumination so the sign post oh man of god oh woman of god will you be the sign post so sign post does not say look at me stop at me worship me attend on me give me a garland make me beautiful have you ever thought of making a sign post beautiful of course sign post must be visible and sometimes sign post may have to be audible uh, visible to show up the sign that's all sign says from old to new so when you are praying you are a sign post you don't want to bring the old harangues when I mean, some people pray they want to keep god informed about all the wrong things the president did what for the lord knows so you start interceding supplicating prophesying from old to new you bear the old sign post you suffer for it you go into identificational repentance sign post and then you show for the way in your prayer you instruct a president in his spirit you instruct a chairman in his spirit you instruct a professor whoever it is a head of a work field head of a work place head of a nation a mayor of a city governor of a province whoever it is you are the sign post when you are god's man you are god's sign post so you only carry god's sign post imagine a traffic light having a massive advertisement for sausages <gasps> that's the problem with the church isn't it prophet can't be a sign for anything else other than god that's it apostle can't be a sign for anything other than god church has carried whole, all kinds of baggage and all kinds of advertisements and church has lost its role as sign post sign post says one all to the new so don't go harang on the old give a solution don't pray the problem god knows the problem god says partner with me in the solution so we we'll listen to him we cast our grief on him we are also sorry when our nations do bad we re- we we repent we do what daniel did in daniel 9 lord me and my people we don't say that fellow no 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 you can't be a sign post like that then the lord gives a sign sign for the new sign for resurrection you become a healer of the breach repair restorer of the street that's right that is isaiah 58 the chapter on fasting and how you become a signpost the one who is fasting becomes a signpost for god 
So today's lessons are all about signposts from Isaiah, how fasting makes the sign forward, how Job was a signpost in his community, and how when John the Baptist was born to be a signpost, he was called the forerunner. So don't lose heart. Signpost has to be giving the right sign for a long time. Sometimes people are hard of hearing. Sometimes people are a little blind. Isaiah found this and he got exasperated about his call and he was complaining about the people to God. God said, Isaiah, is it a little thing that you should be my servant? Of course, it's a great thing. <clears throat> so we want to be the signpost for God. We say, Lord, give us endurance. The post has to last. Post has to last to be the signpost. And the signs we carry are God's signs. So why are we the signpost? What's our qualification? Hark my soul, it is the Lord. Tis thy Savior, hear his voice. Jesus speaks and speaks to thee. Say, poor sinner, loves thou me. I daily were thee when bound, and when bleeding healed thy wound. Saw thee wandering, set thee right, turn thy darkness into light. That's our qualification. Our life change is the signpost that qualifies us. Then, according to our commission, calling, apostle, prophet, pastor, teacher, evangelist, administrator, helper, governor, professor, head of state, Scott Morrison is a signpost because he's a spirit-baptized Christian. I trust all Christians in Australia are getting behind him. It's a time all citizens in Australia will have to get behind him. What a lot of flack he faced when the fires were on in the month of February. But now, they find value in their godly prime minister. One day, somewhere mid-March, he prayed with the whole nation. He dared to face the ridicule and pray as a head of state. And the curve began to get flattened and Australia began to do very well. A country that was threatened. Now their COVID is down to the ground. They are making some vaccines. Two Sri, Sri Lankans are contributing much. And God bless Australia. And God bless Australia to bless Sri Lanka. May they think of Sri Lanka as a place for investment. These things happen in the Cyrus anointing. When God anoints one nation with the Cyrus anointing, we are receiving it in Sri Lanka. And when God has a Cyrus in another nation, he begins to think, let me do something good for Sri Lanka. Will you pray like that? And criticism must completely cease. We can't intercede and criticize. Choose your vocation, critic, journalist, media man, or intercessor, apostle of God, pastor, prophet. Choose your vocation, sign post. So from our basic qualification is what he did for us. That's a sign post, sign in our life. He did this for me. And then from the old to the new, sign post says old to the new. Sometimes it may be a sharp angular turn. Yes, old to the new. Uh, so we are pointing in the post-COVID world, how will, how will the church behave? How will nations do in a post-COVID world? It is easy to keep society going, uh, growling at God, scowling, huffing, puffing, without acknowledging he began it all and we did it our way. It's easy till it stops. So COVID stopped everything. Now we are wondering how to get schools going, how to get professions going how to get uh, work fields going, how can fathers, mothers go to work, how can children go to school. And uh, a big article by Doctor a Day, US uh, organization, doctors have got together and telling uh, and saying how suicides calls are up 600 percent and people are uh, deaths at home, cardiac arrests up 800 percent. 800 percent, eight times more cardiac arrests at home and more than half go dead, can't be recovered, more than half. Uh, the toll, it's not the COVID infection, but since things are shut down, people don't come to services, emergencies in time. So it's a sad time. 
So uh, the, 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 the church of God, the man of God, you in your vocation, whatever you call yourself, you in your vocation, you may be electrician, plumber, farmer, with husbandry, you may be a professor of university, you may be a full-time pastor, you in your vocation, we have to say, that was the old, this is the way God is pointing. This is the way God is pointing. You understand the signpost. These are times people are looking for signposts. Let not the fake speak more than the true. That's the slogan, yes. Let not the fake speak more than the true. We don't have to speak all the time. When that ring of quality, ring of truth, the human heart knows, human spirit knows, no person's spirit is dead till he dies. Spirit is still there. We want to speak truth to their spirit, even in medicine, even in virology, even in immunology, even in pathology. If people don't have political prejudices about who touted which drug and who untouted that drug, what a battle. That battle may be a little uh, ebbing now because Oxford has started a trial with hydroxychloroquine. 40,000 health workers. Uh, so. Uh, now, therefore, there's a little respite that if Oxford starts a trial, maybe there's something about hydroxychloroquine. But a lot of insults were hurled at President Trump, yes. But a caution. Treatment is one thing, prevention is another thing. So if hydroxychloroquine fails in prevention, it does not mean it is not effective in treatment. To prove prevention is difficult. I'll do a, I'll do a, a scientific COVID thing may not be today, tomorrow or something, uh, to show that you have to start from zero patient in a populace, in a community, and start giving hydroxychloroquine from, chloroquine from day one if you want to prove prevention. But treatment is not like that. It is much easier to prove the efficacy of therapy. Uh, but let's get back to our signpost. So from signpost is parked or posted from old to new. Then the signpost acts like a traffic light. The things that are red, stop. Now, many believers don't like that language. They want to negotiate with God and His Word also. So this arbitration negotiation of absolutes is LGBTQ right or not right? Is abortion right or not right? Is divorce and remarriage right or not right? Is premarital sex right or not right? Is extramarital sex okay or not? What we have come to, isn't it? We were reading Romans chapter 1 today, and Paul is so specific about the abomination of men having sex with men and women having sex with women. Harsh language, isn't it? So, signpost. If you if you are not saying stop for stop, God can't use you. You will not be God's signpost. You will be a signpost of all the trends. You will say, go ahead, it's a trend. So time has changed signpost. This is the time to take it up in earnest. Then orange, the things that say wait and things that say prepare. Orange has two, two things to say, wait. And then it may never turn green, so you wait. Or it may be, wait, but prepare. There's only little time to prepare. I think COVID time is a little time to prepare. In Sri Lanka, we are shut down from March 19th. So it's about 60, 62 days. Today is uh, May 22nd. So 50, it's a long time, 55, and we are shut down for about 70 days. So 70 is a good day of Jubilee, isn't it? Yes. 70 days, maybe. Yeah. So uh, the red says stop. So you have to learn in your capacity of influence, in your sphere. You may be just a dad and mom at home. That's fine. In that area, stop what digital programs children should do, how long they should do. There'll be things that you have to address yourself. Also say stop to yourself, to things you trifle with on the, on the screen, pornography, digital games that spoil the mind of children, digital trailers that are so sexualized, war, sex, blood, adrenaline, cortisol, all pumped up. And the digital screen is reducing children's immunity. This is my research subject. Uh, please see some of my clips on this. And if you want to get to our clips 
on science matters, medical matters, please send us a WhatsApp or spiritual clips I have done before, plus 94-77-49-59-214. You can also go to my Facebook wall or to my blog, drlalmendisblog.wordpress.com. You can go to our Brookside uh, Colombo Facebook page. It has many, many a rallying round of word and prayer, rallying round of word and prayer. Seven o'clock and nine o'clock is children's brigade. It's really wonderful to see a children's brigade out of the mouth of babes and sucklings. God perfecting powerful prayer, powerful thanksgiving. Yes. So second, the signpost is red, then the orange saying wait, or orange saying prepare. The time is short, prepare. Thirdly, the go for green. And I'm trusting you would be that green, green door. Yesterday we did how the dove kind are appointed as green olive branch ambassadors to overcome the raven kind. Another day we did how the sheep kind are attending on the damages, ravages that the goat kind are doing. So the dove and the raven picture comes from Noah's ark, Genesis chapter 8. But the sheep kind, goat kind allegory, prophetic word comes from Matthew 25, 31 onwards. So signpost. What else has a signpost got to do? Let's see my notes on it. What else has a signpost got to do? You see, uh, keep distractions out signpost. You have to be the signpost. As I said at the beginning, imagine a traffic light hanging such a big advertisement for sausages covering the red, the orange and the green. This is what happened to the church and to the pastor. They had so many advertisements, this and that. You lost, lost the momentum. You lost the way. You lost your keys. But good news, you can return. You can return. It may be a Christian business, or you may be one who never considered the Lord. You said, I am my God, but here it is. You don't know which way to go. The signpost says, go God's way. That's what the signpost is saying. So signpost is to download from heaven, God thoughts, God wisdom, and you are to shine it for others. In a sense, signpost is also a lamp post, lamp, on the stand. You remember the lamp on the stand. So the lamp must have a stand and you will be a signpost to recommend the gift and calling of others. When a lamp needs a stand, you be that. You bear the light up. Whatever feel, you bear the light up. Yeah, that's a Christian's call. You recognize the lamp. You recognize the shining. I was reading with, I was praying with someone who is in an important place of government, a spirit filled uh, brother in Christ and as I was praying I saw a dew drop came it became a pearl and went into his head because today he has to conduct an important conference I said so and so a dew drop came from heaven and a pearl of wisdom is now operating in your brain in your heart in your spirit God can do that signpost he gives you wisdom to show the direction you understand signpost it may not be your primary area of expertise you need to have some reading background but God gives that flash of brilliance signpost and it may be your area of expertise you may be a trained researcher like me and the it, wisdom of God comes from heaven how does COVID happen how does this work how to prevent it? Wisdom of God come from heaven. Signposts. So signposts are those who get that unusual wisdom when people are groping in darkness in your workplace, in your work field. You get that unusual pearl of brilliance. Where did it come? It came right from the throne of heaven. Are you ready for this kind of life? Or shall we say, no, 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 I, my brain is the thing and I'm not ready for such a change. I'll go at my pace. You know, if you go at your pace, there's a flood spring out of the mouth of the serpent. This time is that time. Revelation 12 time. I have done this before, so please get our scripts and clips before this. What I have done. There's a holy woman clad with the sun. That's the church that is travailing. And a man-child 
is to be caught to the throne of heaven. Who is that man child? You. The best in you. The authority of God in you. The God given throne position by which judgments are given, by which authority is given, by which a whole gate of provision for Sri Lanka opens up. Bless God. Imagine during the time of our problem with the putting down the terrorists, the spirit baptized Christian becomes the head or the commander of their force. What wisdom, what sensitivity to avoid civilian casualties. What a delicate position. But isn't God up to it? Yes, of course God is up to it. This is not a new story. Scott Morrison in Australia getting that wisdom from heaven, what he has to do for his nation. Yes, and of course Marie Curie in her time, Louis Pasteur, all the 20th century pioneer Christians, big part, all the 19th century pioneer Christians were Pioneer scientists were Christians who got their wisdom distilling from heaven. Signpost. So what is that part of the signpost? The kind of wisdom you get, the kind of wisdom that others don't have, you get it. The wisdom from heaven. Signpost, wisdom from heaven. Pen. Here. Uh, so I have done old to new turn. I have done the traffic light as a signpost. I have done... Uh, this wisdom that comes in your field, uh, uh, wisdom nobody has, God gives you that wisdom and hold on to it. And they will say, that wisdom distilled from heaven. So today my examples for the signpost come, come from John the Baptist, that little boy born in time but very late for the mother but it was not late because that was the best birth possible from a mother's womb Lord Jesus Christ said that and from Job how they were signposted in different centuries of course how God does it what else as a signpost the signpost will tell you not to the left but to the right now, post, people don't stop there and worship you they don't uh, you know, burn incense to you. They didn't put a garland around you. No, 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 no. You're only God's signpost. Don't expect the adulation of people. Sometimes you may be liked. Other times you may be disliked. Signpost, you are signpost. God's signal post. Yes, whether they like it or not, you have to show what God says. Red or orange or green. So we have to hear God. Signpost is one who is downloading from heaven. It's like the ladder of Bethel. That Jacob was at crossroads and the ladder came. And the Lord said, every time I will have heaven's dispatch for you. Because you have to become a great nation. Jacob, you are bigger than yourself. Same for you. You are bigger than yourself. Ourself can do so little, isn't it? So when we magnify ourselves, when we exalt ourselves, we become a big nuisance. God can't do anything because we have become God. God has become so little, so Christian. Please, this is a time to go down in self. I decrease and then he increases. I decrease, he increases, isn't it? That's the formula. John 3.30, I decrease, he increases, yes. Uh, what else should I be sharing with you before I wind up? So, you remember Joseph? He was a signpost to his dad. At the age of 12, he got a vision, a dream from God. Jacob had already known this son is special. Rachel's first son, and Rachel had this son and said, Yasef, Yahweh will add, because she was hoping for a second son, and she got that son. But when Joseph was 12, there was this dream. God, he became God's signpost and his father was confused. He said, do you think your mother and I are going to worship you? What rubbish are you talking? And his brothers got very jealous. So signpost, your brothers could get jealous. Signpost, your parents may not understand. Your seniors even may not understand. But be patient. This is a time to honor fathers and mandate sons. Yes, that's the slogan. Write it down. Honor fathers, mandate the sons. Give them their mandate while fathers are being honored. So Joseph at the age of 12 became God's signpost. He talks heaven. 
and he was called dreamer signpost you will be called dreamer you will be called impractical you will be called nobody understands what he says yes signpost because heaven understands but make it in easy words explain it to the people signpost so you in your generation you amongst your colleagues your friends who do not know Christ your old school friends get hold of them because in everybody's heart covid has created an opportunity it's a chaos time it may never come i told you in one lesson that summons have been sent and we take the summons we say please come to our friends colleagues relatives neighbors please come work may please come king is calling but next time it won't be summons it will be warrants by heaven soldiers the angels trumpets will start blowing yeah we don't know how long if there's a huge earthquake and if sun gets dark because of the earthquake some mountains shift because of the earthquake then but the plague has come revelation 18 i have told every time i speak i say please show them revelation 18 verse 10 in one month one day one hour world's economy stopped does anyone need any more sign show your friends last book of the bible the revelation 13 they want to put a sign into your right hand Bible only says sign the sign of the beast and the vaccine people are ready with a digital sign how many vaccines as many as possible for which virus who knows for which virus it doesn't you know but it's important thing is put the sign yes and 5g is getting ready for the 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 observation of the distance yes and schools without pupils online only so they are really getting at it isn't it so in every nation there's a great battle and in us we are praying the saints there arise and protect their president save him and themselves from fake so many christians talk fake and they are so bamboozled you know why revelation 12 so some are going to the throne with god i mean god is giving unusual authority the the sun clad woman is birthing children of god to take the throne place in the arena of influence that's a man child who will ro- rule the nations with a rod of iron that's a man child christians placed in daniel position christians placed in joseph position christians placed in mordecai position christians placed in a humble position like nehemiah just to give the cup to the king christians in their place and then the saints overcome the devil all serpent with the blood of the lamb and with the word of their testimony as they operate in their different empowered field this is the time that every pastor has to move out of his pulpit and his pew and get on the road and do something in some field that will be useful for human beings yes time on the pompous pulpit is over it is really we have to go there and serve find something in your hands to serve yes and then revelation 12 13 says certain serpent spewed a flood you know what that flood is fake information and flood creates a fumes flood creates fumes creates froth and fury yes christians getting angry others getting angry it's all fraud and it's just fumes to blind your eyesight but you remember that clip we did god gives you light in your eyes and there's a light shining forth i can see it on the horizon it's the army of god preparing for war it's a time like that you can't be neutral you can't be on the fence you can't be that 10% christian i am praying every christian will give 51% of their energy strength passion for god thing god's kingdom covid has changed with which percentage you can survive most did survive with less than 10% energy for god times have changed with those days good and the bad could do it together but these days are different wicked will continue to be wicked so revelation 22 says righteous you have to get your act together that is why this covid time get your act together so that we will not go under 
the flood that spewed out the information, the misinformation, the disinformation, the lies, the slander, the anger, the fury, the froth, the fumes. These seem to be effective weapons for some, but we are signposts. We rise above the flood. We keep showing the way to Jesus. Ancient landmarks, yes. Milestones for God, yes. So Joseph was given a uh, 12 child, uh, 12 years old, and look after your 12 year olds. They may be signposts from God. And he stuck to his call. In one year he lost his mother. And little Benjamin was just one as he was born. Joseph was 13 and Benjamin was so little, he, they lost their mother. But Leah mothered the whole clan. 12 boys. Leah mothered. Also another girl. Leah became mother of the whole household. The despised Leah. That is what's going to happen. Church that has been despised will be called back saying, please help us. We need your help. Are you ready? Very quickly, I'll look at uh, John, uh, Luke chapter 1, John's words to John the Baptist by his father while he got born. Luke 1. In holiness and righteousness, Luke 1, 75, before him all our days. In holiness and righteousness before him in all our days. And you, child, you signpost, will be called the prophet of the Most High. Apply it to yourself. For you will go on before the Lord. So always you are going on in the eyesight of God before the Lord. Signpost. That's how you become a signpost. You're always in the track of God, in front of God, meaning God is right behind you, shining His light. You can't miss it. To prepare His way. So you signpost, you are preparing the way of the Lord. You are saying, go this way, not that way. Yes. You remember? Red, stop. Orange, wait, prepare. Green, go. To give to His people the knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. So at this time, many people who never considered God is going to come turn and they'll come to you because they know you. You will be a signpost. They will come and say, you are always different. What was it? This is the time. 78, Luke 1 said, because of the tender mercy of our God, which, with which the sunrise from on high will visit us. So there is a period of time before the hour of temptation, Jesus said before the hour of temptation this is happening and in the hour of temptation he will keep us but before the hour of temptation when witness is still possible let us shine the light you remember john chapter 8 a time is coming you will not be able to shine the light now is the time to shine the light because of the tender mercy of our god with which the sun rise from on high this star early morning light has come <coughs> out of the covid darkness to shine upon those who sit in darkness and the shadow of death so this is the time you know virus is such a, such a shadow of death and certain kinds of vaccines add to that not the good old triple vaccine not good old bcg excellent vaccines good old oral polio vaccine one of the best vaccines not those but these modern ones and we have done this in great detail so to those who are in this darkness and in the shadow of death you will be a signpost to guide our feet into the way of peace you will be a signpost and the child continued to grow and to become strong in spirit and he lived in the yes in unknown until the day of his public appearance now this is the day of your public appearance signpost now don't say i'm shy i'm withdrawn i don't know to speak this is the time of your public appearance very quickly from job how did the signposting work for job Job 29, see what he was. How did it come about? Oh, Job 29, that I were as in the months gone by, as in the days when God watched over me. That's how you become a signpost. God is watching over you all your life, every hour that you will shine forth. When his lamp shone over my head, that's why you are shining forth. You are like the lamp stand. There's a lamp on your head. And by his light I walk through the darkness and everybody sees that your feet has light. They want to follow. 
because you're following the Lord Jesus. As I was in the prime of my day, so don't say you're 80 years old, 75 years old. Do also don't say I'm only 15 years old. For everybody, this is the prime time. That's right. You are going to be prime time news signpost for God. When the friendship of God was over my tent, signpost. When the Almighty was yet with me and my children were around me, my steps were bathed in kind. That is, that is prosperity signpost. And the rock poured out for me streams of oil. That is impossible situation. COVID situation. Lockdown economies. But God has a way of bringing out a stream of oil, a river of oil for his people and for their nation. That's why we ask him for 24 Joseph to lead the way in tea, rubber, coconut, garments, fisheries, in every way possible that Sri Lanka becomes a manufacturing hub. God bless Sri Lanka. I think that is enough, isn't it? And here was his place uh, when I went out to the gate of the city, when I took my seat in the square, signpost in the gate of the city. May you have a very influential seat because you are God's signpost. When Sri Lanka recognizes God's signpost, it'll become a blessing from God. So we bless our president, we bless those who counsel him, we bless our health services, we bless our police people and our military people who have kept country COVID free. 20 days, the rest of the country is COVID free and we know the uh, Navy issue in Balisar camp will settle down and we are getting ready for a God-blessed Sri Lanka. God bless you.